What is up subscribers? Today we're going to be starting a new series on the channel. It's an engine that you all have seen before, but we're finally going to be putting it together with a bunch of new parts, some fancy parts. It's not really new. This engine has been in the shit horse, but we had some issues with it. We weren't really sure why. Obviously the oil pressure being low is uh, not good. We basically decided to uh, give it a full rebuild. We just got it back from the car wash. We cleaned it really well with oven cleaner. Well, as good as we could anyways. And now we are installing the cam bearings, which will be the first video in the series, how to install cam bearings. This series of videos is going to be basically a how to... By the letter J. <laughs> the complete build, so all you guys can see uh, everything that goes into building an LS engine. And we'll try kind of mention all the important points along the way and touch on stuff that you're going to want to know if you're going to want to try this yourself. <laughs> Getting the engine block clean before you do anything is really important because, why as with any engine, why, why we, we did it. it. <laughs> it's not clean. Man. It's clean enough. You want to get clean. most of the junk out. You can see uh, most of the junk out through the back of the engine here and through uh, on the front side. It's the same thing. You can get into the oil galleries and blow those out. Just basically do the best you can. That, that's what we went for here. You'll hear lots of people on the internet say that you're not supposed to look at your cam bearings in your junkyard LS engine. But in this case, like I said, we're going a little bit above and beyond what we normally would to rebuild this one. So we've went ahead and uh, we've got four out of five replaced. Cam bearings often aren't touched because they require a special tool to be removed and installed. Not a lot of people have the tool, so oftentimes if you're not getting the engine done at a machine shop, it's something that's skipped or overlooked or whatever you want to call it. Right now the engine is in its barest form. Everything is taken off of it. It's a bare block besides these cam bearings that we've installed. And this is going to be the first thing that you're going to want to do once you have your engine down in this bare block form. This is just the bare cam journal. You can see here, this is where the bearing goes. You can kind of see the lines where the old one would sit. And if you look from this angle, you can see the little hole inside there. That's where the oil comes in and goes in, in between the bearing and the cam. So the idea in the end is that these surfaces of the cam ride inside those bearings inside the center of the engine there, the oil gets through, everything's happy. So at this point, we already have four of the five cam bearings installed. We're gonna go uh, through the last one because uh, you basically get the, the process that way. Now that we've perfected it, we can teach it to you. <laughs> what? <laughs> Here's the last cam bearing here that we're gonna install now. You can see it has these uh, two holes. On this LS block, there's actually only one oil hole in the cam journal. So it has two for uh, no reason as far as we can tell. But you want to make sure that you line one of these up. You'll see uh, Clayton double check that right now. I'm just going to mark it up just so I can make sure it doesn't move around. This marker's the shits. If you were to install these wrong and not have these holes line up, obviously you would have no oil going to that uh, journal in the cam. Which, which would result in bad things. What Clayton's doing here is just making a mark for reference on the block where the oil hole is. Still pretty greasy there, but I think I can see it. What would you call that thing? Expansion. Call it? Call it. This goes on the end of the cam tool. You uh, put the bearing on here, expand it, and then pound her in. Mm -hmm. That's about all there is to it. Well, here's where I want to be careful and not ding the other bearing, so... Mike's going to have to put a camera down, maybe? No, Mike can't put the camera down. We all know that. Jeez. Down on your end. Down? Okay. The tool has this alignment cone, they call it here. So you make sure uh, you're hitting the cam bearing flush. Square. I guess square wouldn't be right. Just in alignment. And like Clayton was saying, you want to be really careful at the end, too, when installing the cam to not ding up the bearings. You want them to be as smooth and nice as possible. Once you got everything lined up, it's time to hit it with the BFH. Okay? Yep. It's going? Yeah. I think the block's moving. Uh, it's just me or does that not look completely square? Fuck, it should go. Look like it's straightened out a bit. I can edit this crap out. <laughs> it's 
It's going in nicer now. Oh, it's going in. I might decide to hold the block. That's probably good. No, I don't think so. No, you go more? Yeah. Well, I don't know. That, that's We've thing. been going until this is that oh, web, yeah? all the way in. That web could be thinner. Though. With this particular You're tool. better to be safe and double check. You can see the old line. Yeah, a little more. Just a little bit more. Yeah? I think so. Okay, let's... He's in there. Take the end off. While doing this process, you do have to take it in and out of here. Well, just for the... In tricky down. ways. I think most of them are like that points. anyways. Where you have to take it apart after. Yeah. Like even a small block Chevy it's one. Because you can't pull it through this one, right? So just don't get confused like Clayton did. Now we should probably, we're going to check it with an old cam just to make sure everything's square in. I feel, I, well, I guess you could have went a tiny bit more, but the cam, this bearing's also a lot smaller than the cam journal. Look how big this cam journal is and how small the bearing is. Yeah. So even if it's not 100% in that, like, you know, it's still going to rest, gonna the cam's still going to ride on it, right? One way you can check if the bearing is aligned properly with the oiling hole is with a, a little pick like this and just trying to stick it through and kind of feel around in there. That's what she said. Is this old cam of yours bent, Rob? Or? I don't, I don't know. Sure, We're gonna test fit a uh, cam in here now, just to make sure it's all good. Careful. Easy. Easy. And the cam are fucked. Someone else said they call it something else. America's. Ladybird. That's what I call it. Oh, it's hollow. Yeah. I call it a lady finger. That's probably politically incorrect, though. That's right. Ladies don't have fingers. What the fuck? What? Something's not right. Huh? Something's not right. Something's not right. Did we mess up on purpose just to make this video more interesting? Why? What's wrong? Hmm? What's wrong? <laughs> it's not going through. Not going through where? What do you mean? It's not going in through the bearing? Which one? Well, it's tighter on... Oh my god, my... Well, there's a burr right here. You fucked the edge up a little bit. Is it? Yeah, put your finger on there. You're gonna have to file it a little. Oh. When you were maybe the last bang, you banged it in. Just feel right here. That's it's a bird. And that's why you test fit a cam in there when everything's well, still yeah, apart. If you assembled the engine, then you'd be screwed, right? Not What's screwed. That but, you know, that's just the uh, another lesson for you guys. Me and Clayton, you know, we planned that, another but uh, we try to make it look real, just so you know, you get the you get the knowledge from us and don't have to make the mistake yourself. <laughs> All right, so Clayton just did a little work on that rearmost bearing with the file here. And now we're going to try the stock dirty cam fit once again. Jesus. So you're, it's catching somewhere still. Did you try putting it in from the other side? Yeah, it was good. And it went in. Maybe this is why they say not to change the cam bearings, Rob. Not to look. Yeah, maybe. Not to yeah. care. And we run into issues. When it comes to this engine, if we didn't have oiling issues and whatnot with it, I would have said don't change them. Right? Yeah. The only reason that, I mean, I would have told Clayton he was crazy to want to change them just because they were dirty or whatever. But considering we had the oiling issues and for 20 bucks, we might as well put new ones, right? But uh, there's probably a little nick or a little burr on something. You just got to clean it up. It'll be good to see. That's why the slogan for our channel is Automotive Adventure, because we take you through the processes even when they don't always go right. A lot of videos, it's mechanics that have done a process a bunch of times and it's super perfected to them. They don't run into any of the issues that a guy like you, if you're doing it for your first time, would run into. So I think this kind of a guide is helpful to guys that are doing this for their first time. If you're a professional machinist and shaking your head right now watching us do this, uh, share your knowledge down in the comments and uh, help other people out with questions. No, you don't need to get rid of there. All right, guys, it's another day. We're back working on the 5.3. We still never uh, solved the cam issues. Well, yeah, we kind of did. Not really. Well, 
Yeah, we. Well, we did. Really, we did. Somebody said in the comments or live stream, I don't remember, that uh, putting the main caps on would make a huge difference. So I put the main caps on, tightened them, and then I was able to put the cam in pretty easy. It actually slid in, so I, I guess it does. Uh, the block is a little distorted when the caps are off, and uh, but it's still a little, little tight, tighter than it should be. So we're thinking that the cam bearings just got a little. You know, bird up. Clayton's just going through right now so with while his. While we were uh, struggling trying to get the cam in, the, the brand new cam bearings ended up getting a little fucking yeah, beat up. You can't call it a master build anymore, Mike. No, it's it's an SPP master build. <laughs> Jam it in. That's that's what she said. Do you oil them all up? Yeah. Okay, one more gently. Yeah, this is something you don't want to rush. That's in like just a little bit <laughs> into that, right? That's out. Half in, half out, and that's where we run into problems. Is that the one that was tight before? I think so. Remember when we said, oh, I don't know if installing cam bearings is enough for an entire video. <laughs> Master build. I feel like some people's heads are going to be shaking. Yeah, including mine. Jam that thing in there. Maybe zip tie it until we can then undo it when it's in there. Operation. It's like surgical around here. Dr. Clayton's in the house. All right, time I would to... never do this on. What you're doing I it right now? Really, <laughs> on anything I cared about. Price, price. Uh, <laughs> Release the implement. Machinist Clayton doing his machining. This is all Clayton's idea, by the way. Oh God! Why are you going out? Oh. It goots now. Oh. Needs more oil. Oh, this is ridiculous. Oh my God! It's like a line home. Yeah. Yeah. It's just mint. Do you think that's good or give it another couple more of those? Maybe things? a little. Oh my god, that's too fast. Oh yeah, that's not, I can't do it. Hmm. Went in good? Yeah. No. Still tight? I kind of missed the camera action there. Well, it's tight when it goes past that first thing and then it, the next uh, thing that went through it didn't feel that bad See, it's weird it almost seems like right there you know what I mean it feels nice and it's then got a spot when I put it in the other day it I think it was tight probably there but then once it got in all the way it didn't seem that bad and now it seems like it's sticky I don't know if we cut one of these cams just get the low one of the, the big lobe and then try fitting it through all you know what I mean? But I guess we kinda know that it's that one that seems tight. Or say fuck it and just order new cam bearings and redo them again. So we just tried sticking the cam in at the back and it goes into the back to uh, cam journals really easily. It seems to be the center one that is the problem. So we're gonna get the cam tool out and uh, give it a whack. Maybe it's not completely square, completely in all the way where it should be. Maybe it's all gooched and we need new cam bearings. This metal one's rough now. <laughs> that actually moved quite a bit, didn't it? You think this is the, the fix? No. No. <laughs> Same. Same. Hmm. What are those cam bearings worth? 20 bucks. It's not bad. We can afford to fuck this up a couple more times. Where do you think we went wrong, though? I don't know. Obviously the way it went in. Something's not true in there? I don't have a bunch of experience, but uh, it's not really that difficult. You put it there and you beat it in. You might be able to go to Canadian Tire right now and buy some. I don't know. Or piss and rain. You know what I mean? They might sell them here. They might not be expensive, but... Singles, though? No. 
Amplify is set. We're going to try and knock the uh, center one out of the block and uh, just see if that's a problem. See if the cam will fit nicely in there with that one missing. Apparently the center one was uh, the issue by itself because we got the cam in there now and it's it's mint how a cam should be. And it went in nice too. So maybe it was just a little crooked? I mean, yeah, it looks guy, super the straight. Guy, the guy that installed it, which no. Or I think it's a faulty bearing. Manufacturer defense. Inspector Rob's on the case. Maybe it's a fuck bearing. Maybe it was undersized from the factory or something. That one is the one that should go in the most square because you've got the most distance between that one and the cone, right? Yeah. So it should keep it the most square. Hey there, I'm looking for a set of cam bearings for 5.3. Uh, I think it was 4x4, four four, yeah. 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 <laughs> it doesn't have AC. It doesn't have a moonroof. Leather interior, yeah. Cruise control, nope. I'm sorry? Push button 4x4. 5.3, yeah. Or stick shift 4x4. Four four. Standard size truck? Extended cab, regular cab. Uh, okay, thanks. Let me guess, they only had it for seven, a truck that had air conditioning. Dealing with the local parts stores. Okay. I'll call back. Thanks. Bye. Nothing in stock. They could get them maybe Monday. 83 bucks. Huh. Holy shit. That's <laughs> then they wonder why we go to the States for fucking stuff. And you say these were 20 ish? Pretty sure, yeah. Off Summit. Fuck. That's a couple bottles of uh, brake clean. <laughs> Cam bearing here that we did that uh, little hone on. Definitely not recommended. No, too soft. I knew that. I knew that going in. We did that just for effect, guys. We didn't really think that'd work. Did you see that? So I guess once again, we're leaving this episode unfinished and we'll return to it at a later date once we, we have more uh, cam bearings. Yeah, that's how she goes. That's the way she goes. All right, guys, so it's a week later. It's the next Saturday now. We have a new set of cam bearings from Summit. Very quick shipping. Pretty happy with that, that they got here so quick. We just knocked the uh, new, old, new cam bearings out. As you can see, they got a little gacked during the, uh, the messing around there. We're not quite sure what exactly we're gonna do different this time that's gonna make it not do that, oh. but we're just gonna try to be more careful. I'm gonna try to hold the back of the engine a lot sturdier. We're gonna make sure that cone is in where it's supposed to be. And uh, last time. I'm just gonna put a little- Steady, consistent little taps. On these bearings. So like we did the first time, Clayton's got the bearings marked where the oil hole is as well as the block. And I was just doing a little special, special treatment. This isn't in the manual. Shouldn't have to do this. There's a nice beveled edge here. Just getting rid of that sharp corner. So I'm gonna set the GoPro down this time and uh, like I said, hold the back of the engine so hopefully these go in how they should. And this will finally be the end of this episode. Oh, That's boy. gone on way too long. <laughs> We're just going to go ahead and pound the rest of those in. Uh, you saw that earlier in this video, so we're just going to skip ahead until we're test fitting the cam and seeing if it all worked out. Alright guys, here we go. They went in pretty uh, drama free this time. Took like the third of the time as it did the first time. We got it down. It's time to put in the, the old cam ski here. <laughs> Why is that one tight again? God damn son of a bitch! Fuck. Not even funny anymore. Son of a bitch! Jesus Christ. Fuck! Maybe try that other cam, maybe? I don't think that should make a difference, mind you. What the crap? Well, I don't know. It seems to be the middle one again. It's... <sighs> Same thing, it's kind of tight there, eh? This is like literally the exact same issues we had last time. Well, that's not good. Oh, let's try the other can, what the fuck? Yeah, let's try uh, stock uh, cam number two over here. 
Maybe it's just my cam. All right, let's try this cam. Wonderful. Wonderful. Fuck, this one even almost feels looser than the other. Nope. Wonderful. Maybe it's, huh. your, it's your cam, Mike. Mike, what the fuck are you shit? Yeah, but this this over? cam was the one that got stuck the first time. Did you beat your dog with that other cam or what? <laughs> no, it, I don't think it ever got dropped or anything. That one's out of the Sonic Stangs engine. 5.3. And this one is out of this My motor engine, out of the yeah. S10, right? Like these holocore cams, are they bend easier? I don't know, man. That's weird because, but this one was definitely the one that was in there the first time we had problems. We tried both. We tried both, and they're both shitty. Maybe the bearing got damaged because we were fucking trying to install that one first. Well, it's weird. No, this one was the one we it's had just first. It's super weird that it wouldn't go. I don't know. It feels good now. It, well, I mean, it does. Yeah. Yeah. It definitely slid in easy. All right, so it's good. Yeah. There we go. So that is how you install cam bearings. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's how you don't install them. And then that's how you Ideally, it'd be nice to have the cam we're using to, before we start <coughs> putting the crank and, oh, uh, crank and rods yeah. and pistons in. Me and Clayton were saying uh, a little while ago outside, it would have cost probably at least a hundred bucks at a machine shop to get these installed. So for the cost of two sets that, of bearings. You could, and you could use that money to get the thing hot tanked. <laughs> yeah, wow. Yeah. Let's not start that again. <laughs> You could also throw the money in the garbage, <laughs> <laughs> But for that $50 we spent on two sets of bearings, we now have the knowledge of it. Like I said, Clayton did it in a third of the time it took the first time, and it worked this time. We're just assuming that something went wrong with installation of that middle bearing the first time. Either that or the bearing could have been faulty, possibly from the factory. And the other thing they say, which we didn't do the first time, is to have your mains in place yes. and torqued, which, yeah. which we do now, but- That was the difference I this honestly time. can't see if it made a difference or not, but maybe it did. So now that we got that done, the uh, next step on this engine will be installing the crank, the crank bearings and the crank in there. Mint. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed this video on the build of this engine. We're gonna go through it step by step, showing you how we fuck it up along the process so you can maybe avoid those mistakes. The master build, right Clayton? That, that's, what, that's what we're doing here. Really though, I mean, this is how you learn stuff, and a cheap LS engine is a good thing to be learning this stuff on. We might have proved the theory that you should not touch your cam bearings correct, but the ones in this motor are actually pretty messed up. The ones in our six lead aren't too bad, we'll probably leave those, but these are bad just because this whole engine was in really bad shape and really dirty. So it was worth all the hassle, hopefully, in the end, for better oiling. Better cam. So as always, guys, make sure to like, share, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next episode working on this engine and doing other cool shit we do. See you later, guys. Yeah.